I have a number of different data points displayed here over the top of some drone imagery, but I know that there's more information sitting behind those data points themselves and I would like to display them as different colors. So you can see that each data point is yellow, but I know that they hold information as to the particular type of habitat that's in there. So what I'm going to do is to change their colors based on the habitat that they're providing information about. So if I right click on the layer in the table of contents and head down to symbology, you can see that at the moment that it's being displayed as a single symbol. So every single symbol in that data set will be displayed exactly the same and that's yellow, which is perfectly fine for some applications. Now you can always change that symbol by clicking on it and you can change the color, the shape if you like, you can import a PNG image file that's going to to pop up there as well instead of just using boring all points. But let's come back to the gallery anyway and, and up the top there and look at this option in, and instead of using a single symbol, what I'd really like to do is to color code it based on the type of habitat that we have. So that's what I'm going to use is unique values. So if I click on unique values here, what I need to do is to decide the field that's going to provide that information. So if I click down on this, you'll see all the different fields that are there in my attribute table. Now I know that it's this particular field, the what is just after feature field, that provides the information on the type of habitat that, that we see there. So the particular question that was asked was what is the habitat? So if I click on that one there, what we'll see down the bottom here is a number of different colors and the corresponding attributes that, that are based within that data set there. So you'll see sand, rubble, live coral, dead coral, and you'll also see one that doesn't have any values associated with it. Now that's perfectly fine because those are the points that had infrastructure in them. So that should be my bund wall and a brick as well that I collected data of. Now I can also change the individual colors of each of these points if I like, or I could change the color scheme. That might be another option to, to select something that's perhaps a little bit brighter or stronger colors. I can change the size of my symbols or anything that I like through this interface here. And you'll see that as I do it, it's changing these things dynamically in my display. So let's have a look over here. I can see that there's a maroon colored dot here and I know that maroon is corresponding to some sort of infrastructure and I know for I can see that right there that that's the bundle so I'm really happy with that. Now I can also see that the sand color is sort of this mustard color that's what it's been assigned and there's a point over here in the middle of sand which is that color. I've got some green which is associated with some dead coral and then a purple which is live coral as well. So I've changed my colors to help display that and you can see it in the table of contents as well which will then later transfer into a legend.